En kommitté från USAs representanthus har i en rapport slagit fast att kärnkraftföretaget givit vilseledande information till myndigheterna för att ge intryck av att olyckan var av mindre allvarlig natur. Det amerikanska justitiedepartementet har också lagt fram bevis för att företaget under månaderna som ledde fram till olyckan förfalskat och förstört dokument vad gäller läckage av radioaktivt kylvatten. Prior to the accident, these people had been systematically falsifying leak rate data. What they had been doing is, in, in, in American nuclear industry, you have to have a satisfactory leak rate test once every 72 hours. They couldn't get it. So they falsified about 50% of their leak rate tests. Uh, in, uh, in years after the accident at, at TMI-2, there was a situation with uh, testing on our reactor coolant system. All plants must test systems to ensure that they are, they are not leaking water beyond a, a limit that is set for them. And at TMI-2, the leak rate test that was being done was, it was said to be inadequate to do it, to really detecting uh, how much water was being, was being released. And um, a federal investigation was done, and uh, Metropolitan Edison, which was the operator of the plant at that time, pled guilty to doing inadequate uh, leak rate tests and the company subsequently did its own investigation and uh, found that the, the tests were in were indeed inadequate and we have the, the tests were revised better tests were done an independent investigation of the leak rate testing confirmed that there were no safety implications from this and uh, this applies only to unit two this does not apply to unit one where they were doing a much better and a very adequate leak rate test this was a test done at unit two it proved to be inadequate and the company was responsible for doing an inadequate test even for tmi 1 den oskadade reaktorn som nu återigen är i drift finns bevis för att man förfalskat och förstört likartade dokument they, they had their own people who worked for them three whistleblowers come out and say look we've taken shortcuts during the accident and they were subsequently fined 64000 dollars for taking these shortcuts det är ovanligt med juridiska efterspel när det gäller kärnkraft. 1984, they were first and only utility ever criminally convicted under the Atomic Energy Act. But we have convicted criminals operating a nuclear power plant. We're not talking about making shoes or people farming. We're talking about people operating a very dangerous uh, technology that are convicted criminals. <laughs> What we know now, when we look in retrospect, the temperatures exceeded 5,000 degrees, so there was a serious core melt accident. If you know that the core is uncovered, which you have to have that to get core temperatures, to get temperatures like 5,000 degrees, you have to have, you have to have lost cooling, you have to have lost the heat sink, uh, ultimately. And in a situation like that, that that's one of our cues to uh, pack it up and move it out. Kärnkraftsbolaget hävdade under olyckans första dagar att det inte hade förekommit någon härtsmälta och att bränslet var i stort sett otskadat och att endast uppskattningsvis en halv till en procent av bränslestavarna hade smält. Enligt NRC var man i verkligheten endast 30 till 60 minuter från en total härtsmälta. Uh, at one point they took a, a coolant sample and the i don't remember specifically what it was, but the dose rate from it was awful. If I had known that morning that the core had melted or whatever, you know, we had a mindset that core melt, you know, pull the plug. Um, I had got up and come out here in the living room and turned on my TV, and I happened to see some special coming on that something had occurred over at TMI. And they were telling everybody to close their windows. If you had your air conditions on, turn them off, stay indoors, um, listen for more information. They would be giving you the routes out of Middletown in case that you had to exit out of here. Um, of course, I went out and got my dog in and shut my barn doors and everything and then stayed in the house. They were also telling us to get a pillow in any of your personal belongings, your checkbook, things like that and get them ready to put in your car to be ready to leave. And I tried to get my husband on the phone. Of course, the lines were all tied up. Then the county agent called later, about 11 o'clock, and he said, uh, uh, you're, uh, at Three Mile Island had an accident, 
and you have to get ready for evacuation. He said to Paul, go to the barn and feed up the cattle as much as you can. Give them all the hay you can for at least for three days because you're not going to be coming back for at least three days. And if they live, all right, and if they don't, well, then you won't have to worry. På morgonen dag tre gick guvernör Thornberg ut i radio med en rekommendation till de som bodde inom två mils avstånd från kärnkraftverket. Stanna inomhus med fönster och dörrar stängda. Två timmar senare kom budskapet. Ingen anledning till panik, men gravida kvinnor och barn bör evakueras. Om de bor inom en mils omkrets från anläggningen. The chairman of NRC was saying something to the effect if I had a wife and young children there I... I would want them out. Dag fyra hade 90 procent av Goldboros befolkning lämnat sina hem. There were many people within the five mile radius. They estimate half the population of the five mile zone left the three mile island area after the three mile island accident. När guvernören kom med sin begränsade evakueringsrekommendation hade redan 80 procent av radioaktiviteten släppts ut. Um, we had to come home Tuesday because we had forgotten our medicine and warm clothing. And as we approached the city of Harrisburg, we could see um, Three Mile Island in the distance as we came up the hill. And it was lit up like daylight. You could see the helicopters flying around. There must have been at least 10 of them flying, you know, in a long oval circle back and forth. And uh, I thought they were there just to monitor the radiation, but I had found out later that uh, it was also to disperse the radiation coming out of the plant so that no direction would get a very strong